Hi. Today I wanted to make a uh, tips and tricks video on boundary fit surfacing. Um, so inside of Design X, not many people realize because you look at the general interface here, um, whether it's in the home or the model um, tab, you have all your regular features and surface modeling tools that you'd normally use. Um, but if you come over into the menu, add-ins, you have this tool called Legacy uh, Boundary Fit Surfacing, which is right here. It's grayed out. Um, so in order to do a Legacy Boundary Fit, you have to have a 3D sketch. So that's what I'm going to show you a little bit of today. Just very basic. Um, but the way this works is you can come in and say, I want to create a 3D mesh sketch. And you can create a sketch by drawing directly on the mesh. Um, those of who have seen me do presentations know that I love showing this tool because it's really neat. Like this is something that is very difficult to do in a lot of different softwares, right? Um, where you can sketch directly on a 3D surface. Like even inside a CAD, it's very difficult to sketch on a CAD surface. It it bogs it down and stuff. It's just uh, just the way it works is not very pleasant, right? So in here, what you can do is you can sketch. And I'm just going to keep it simple here. A boundary here. And you can do an entire network. And you see that because it's orange, it's telling me that is a bounded shape. Right, and that'll let me know that it is completely bounded. So I'll go ahead and build upon that one just to show that you can do an, an entire network. Like you can do the entire part this way. And you can draw, like I could have drawn those two lines as one line and broke them apart if I needed to. We see how I can just go around the entire part and just draw these curves all over to create this. And there's lots of different ways of creating these curves too. So like you can come in here and say, I want to create a curve by a section. So if you're going to do this whole part, you could say, I want to create a curve that intersects all the way through. That's kind of flat You can create a plane and then use that section to then intersect it, right? You can convert entities from other sketches, whether it's a 2D sketch or 3D sketch, right? There's lots of different ways of going about doing this. Um, just for the sake of today, again, I'll keep it simple. But I will say um, just some of the things that will throw a monkey wrench into the process is if it isn't a completely bounded shape. So actually, let's just get rid of this. And I'll just draw something like this. And it's very close because sometimes what will happen is it looks like it's bounded. Right. And these nodes can be very close to each other. And so that's where it's important to understand whether it's orange or not to help you recognize whether it's a bounded shape or not. So there, we created our little boundary area. And if I come over to the menu, add-ins, legacy boundary fit, you'll see by default, if I have that sketch still selected, it will go ahead and recognize it up here and the loops. Um, if not, the way it works is the easiest way is just to click on the sketch over here when you come in and it'll auto recognize. That's a really good way to do it as well. Um, and then there are times where sometimes it'll get it wrong where you have to deselect these loops and click in the bounded area and either select them or deselect them. So you say, I don't want that one. I do want this one. And whatever's turquoise it's going to create, right? So now if I go ahead and hit next, You'll see this just gives you a little preview of the surface it's going to create. You can do it based off of tolerance, that deviation, or control points. I tend to do control points because I just I want to dictate how many what the resolution of that polygon is, how many grid points it has. So 10 by 10, I think the D 
default is 30 by 30. You can adjust the smoothness too, how closely these surfaces are going to follow the uh, polygon mesh. So <clears throat> I failed to recognize, uh, mention earlier that a boundary fit surface in here is a little different than regular CAD. In a regular CAD package, it's going to create a boundary fit surface just recognizing the boundaries of the edges, right, of the sketch. But a boundary fit in here will trim to that, but the interior of the surface then snaps to the mesh itself. And that's what this resolution is dictating, like how many grid points are going to be snapping to the underlying mesh. So if there was a divot here, it would show up inside of the surface, right? Depending on how much you smooth it. So now if I just go ahead and hit OK, you'll see it creates my 10 by 10. And there's your surface. Just hide the mesh, and that's what we created. And it's a very smooth, nice, clean surface. Now, I can edit that. I can come back and I can reselect in the first stage here. Next, I could bump this up to, let's do 50 by 50 and less smoothing. Just to show, like, what it'll look like when it, look at that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <clears throat> That's way higher resolution than the mesh itself, honestly. But look, at it captures that texture in the mesh. So if you needed to go that crazy with it and where you really want to capture as much detail with a mesh, you can do that. Um, but most of the time for modeling with this type of surface, I'm trying to keep the surfaces as, as simple as possible. Like so. And then smooth it. So now you see I have this nice clean blanket of a surface there. But when you turn it on, you'll notice that there is more deviation because I did that. So the final step is you can check deviation here. And I was using this for a different part earlier. So if I come down to like a 0.1, half a millimeter or 0.1 millimeter, you'll see the deviation as I roll across. So it just, just depends on what you're doing, what, ty what type of uh, tolerances you're trying to hold, um, depending on what you're trying to do there. No, not half a millimeter. There we go. So there is your boundary fit surface tutorial. Um, I didn't go into a ton of the 3D sketching. We could always do one of those a little bit later, how to... Uh, best practices for 3D sketching. Um, but this one is more focused on creating those boundary fit surfaces because this is a great in-between of using features between trying to model something with a bunch of features or trying to model something using a ton of uh, like auto surfacing, right? And this is kind of like an in-between type scenario that allows you to capture organic shapes to get simplify them down and make them more CAD friendly um, and then more editable by doing them this way because they're more organized. So that is my brief tutorial on boundary fit surfacing, the tool, the long lost tool that people forget about.